Hi, I'm Penny Warner. I'm the vicar at St. Nicholas New Church. <laughs> and this is Buddy. <laughs> Buddy is much loved uh, by the local community and he has been uh, the project mascot so he has become heritage hound. He has his own Twitter feed uh, where he tells everybody um, about the exciting projects that we have going on um, in New Church. Um, he obviously takes his own photographs of his involvement in the project and tweets regular updates and it's been fascinating to see just how many people have engaged with Buddy and his stories. Buddy writes his own magazine article um, in the parish magazine called Pause for Thought, where he reflects on some of his adventures. He also reflects on um, perhaps some wisdom and some advice that he, he'd like to give people. And of course, his adventures in the churchyard as well. I'm told by a number of people that they regularly phone their grandchildren who live away. They read Buddy's letter over the phone um, and share in, um, in Buddy's adventures as well. So again, it's another way people have really been brought together by this small dog. When I arrived uh, in New Church, loads of um, beautiful um, areas outside, um, but all in a really bad um, condition. Uh, for many years, uh, there hadn't been any maintenance, um, and the congregation now um, are struggling um, to care for the churchyard that we have um, outside. We worked together with Valley Heritage. We had some community workshops where people came along and told us what they wanted um, from the churchyard. So they wanted it to be um, a beautiful looking area. They wanted to be able to come and sit and enjoy it. Um, they wanted to have the space and time to pray, but they also wanted to get involved in the community and, and help out um, in the project. We began by doing some major tree work after that we moved to rebuilding a dry stone wall and we had some fabulous involvement from the community um, to help us to do that. So 75% of the volunteers involved um, in building the dry stone wall were members of the community beyond the church. We had um, two wonderful community bat walks and we are just about to move to um, the children's side of the project, a photography and um, poetry projects um, as part of the churchyard and using their imaginations and um, thinking back over the time about where the stone came from and getting to talk a little about the natural world. It's been marvellous. Um, even those of us that can't do very much now are very, very interested in what's going on. And it's bringing the graveyard back to life as part of the village. People are coming to help at all sorts of things, building walls and goodness knows what. And people that don't come to church are really enjoying coming. We're a living thing in here and a living thing outside as well. It's marvellous, marvellous. I think the project has been one that has engaged people because it's had a sense of creativity and imagination and a sense of fun um, as well and given people opportunities that they wouldn't normally have had. I think the church has tried to provide that space for people to actually look up, you know, not just in the religious sense but in the sense of the, the beautiful world that's around us and actually engage with what's there um, already um, and I think in the busyness of the world it's something that a real gift that we have to offer about looking closely at, at what's on our doorstep really and, and giving thanks and engaging with it. <laughs>